you guys, welcome back to the channel. In our previous videos, we have seen some of the tags of HTML and their attributes. In today's video, we're just going to continue the tags of HTML for the HTML course for beginners from basic to advanced. In our today's video, we are going to see another interesting tag of HTML that is the list tag. So in order, if you have your page present here and if you want to list certain items, then you can use this list tag. So this list tag, it is used for specifying the list of information in your HTML document or your web page. So there are three types of HTML lists present. One is the ordered list, one is unordered list, and one is definition list. As the name specifies here, ordered list is going to present you the list with the certain orders which will be in the ascending order format. So for example, the default format is 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. The second type of list is the unordered list. In this type of unordered list, you are going to have the unordered list that is there will be certain thumbnails to specify that these are your list items and then next you have the definition list this is going to be in the form of a definition that is for example you have html here and then for this html what will be the definition if you want to write the definition you are going to just give some indentation here and then you are going to start what is the definition in this way, the definition list is going to work. For the list, for the ordered list, you have uh, two tags, that is ordered list and the list items. And then you have two attributes, one is the start attribute and one is the type attribute. In this unordered list, you don't have any start because there is no start thing. All you have are the disks, square or the circles. So you just have the type. Then you have for the definition list, you have DL. This is called as the definition list. DL will stand for definition list. DD is going to stand for definition data, definition data, and DT is going to stand for definition term. So in this way, you can create your definition list. So let us see this list tag in our Visual Studio Code. The very first one that we had was the ordered list. So in order to create the ordered list, let me just remove this one from here. I'll just add a H1 for this. All right, in order to create an ordered list, first you need to add the OL tag, open and close the OL tag. And inside this OL tag, whatever items will be there for the list, they will be listed in terms of LI. So as you can see here, if it is an ordered list, you're going to get the one here. I'm just going to name the fruits here, apple, LI, mango. You can see that it is moving in an ascending order, berry. And the next I'm going to give it as for the numerics, apple, mango, pure berries. And I'm going to add a paragraph here in between. Let me just add the paragraph. I'll reflect in this paragraph. In this first paragraph, I'm going to reflect some fruits. All right. Mm -hmm. And in the second paragraph over here, I'm just going to reflect some veggies. I'm sorry, some veggies. Now, again, if I'm going to write the oil, but in this case, I want my OL to start from the letter 5 or the st to start from the numeric 5. But as you can see here, it is going to start from the first. So you have an attribute which is called as the start attribute, which can resume your counting from where it has been started. So I just started from 5 here. So as you can see, it is going to start from 5 and I'm going to list down some veg veggies. So the first veggie I'm going to list as... Brinjal, after that another ally, cabbage, carrot and etc. So as you can see here, this is how the type and the start attributes are going to work for your ordered list and how this OL and LI tag are going to work in unison to create a beautiful list like this. This is about ordered list. Now let us see about an ordered list. I'm just going to delete these here or let them be. Next, I'm just going to give another H1 here saying unordered list. In order to create an unordered list, you need to specify UL tag. And within this UL tag, you are going to have LIs, that is the list items. So as you can see here, it is going to provide you with a disk in order to show, in order to show the list item. So let us write here. I'm going to write the movie names, Spider-Man, another LI, Batman, Iron Man, Aquaman, so on. So as you can see here for this ordered unordered list, 
let me just move it to the top cut this completely and move it over here so that it is easily visible for you guys okay for the unordered list, you can see that it is the disk by default. Now, there are two other types which you can use for your unordered list. One is the circle. One is the circle that you can use. And the other type that is there, it is the square type. And the other type is the square. As you can see here, it is the squares are being reflected. So, this is how you are going to use your unordered list. The next type of list is the definition list. 